The political arena is corrupt. The religious arena is corrupt. The educational arena is corrupt. Everywhere is corrupt. And the technology, my beloved, look what they are doing, brainwashing millions upon millions of generations, destroying you, my beloved, with this iPhone, iPad, iPod, and iPad. Destroying you. What do you watch on that little screen? What do you see, my child? Filth. Poison. Poison. Hollywood. Poison. 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 The entertainment sector is also corrupt. And the mainstream media. <laughs> you will never hear good news or right news from the mainstream media. They will tell you what they want you to know. They will never tell you the truth. And this is why I always quote Winston Churchill, the Prime Minister of Great Britain during World War II. Winston Churchill said, the most powerful weapon in the world is the truth. And this is why it is quite often being surrounded by a bodyguard of lies. The most powerful weapon in the world is the truth. This is why it is quite often being surrounded by a bodyguard of lies. And the mainstream media their role is one thing, to surround the truth with a bodyguard of lies. In order to achieve one thing, to make people believe the lie being the truth and the truth being the lie. And this is where the Lord God speaks in Isaiah the prophet and he says, You generation have called the light darkness and the darkness light, the sweet bitter and the bitter sweet, because you have lost track of the true divine God. Unless, my beloveds, we come back to the Lord Jesus, human rights will only do one thing, enslaving us all and then eventually destroying us all. So now, we need to protect our children from the poison of Satan. I want to say this, so sadly I will say this, it's absolutely shameful of us as human beings to reach this low level where we cannot recognize our humanity anymore. My goodness, what has become of this human being? A time is coming, I can't say to a guy, how is this man? Because I may be found to be offensive to that man because that man turned out to be not a man where I saw everything being a man. Where is the fairness? The Western world. Shame on you as the entire Western world to call yourself a democratic country's you are lying through your teeth. Democracy has got absolutely nothing to do with you. And by the way, democracy comes of the old ancient Greek people from the word democrata. Democracy was invented by the Greeks. It is something of old, nothing new. But that democracy that is founded and built outside the circle of God is nothing but the poison of the snake, Satan. And this is what we're witnessing in our time and age. So um, they're passing the law and now they want to impose that law everywhere, teaching your children. If somebody wishes to, to choose a lifestyle, oh, well, they're free to do that. I am in no position to go and judge that person. The judge is God, I'm not. So if you choose to live in this particular way, you're free. However, how come you are entitled to choose whichever way you wish to choose to live, yet no one has the right to say nothing about that. And then when it comes to me choosing the way I wish to live, all of a sudden I am a judgmental person, I am a discriminative person, and these Christian people are fanatic, they're crazy about their faith. Let me tell you one thing.
Whatever my Lord Jesus taught me, I'll take that with me to the grave. Neither you nor anywhere else will impose that on me. You want to live your way? Go for it. You're free. But leave me alone. Live my life the way my Jesus taught me to live it.